Good afternoon and salam ibu Rico. The Acting Secretary of Defense said on Saturday he has not yet determined how much money he will redirect to President Donald Trump's border wall project. Pat Shanahan, who has been leading the Pentagon since Jim Mattis, stepped down on December 31st, made the comment in an interview with reporters flying with him from Germany to Washington. Shanahan said he has a great deal of discretion in deciding of how to use the authorities granted to him by Trump's de declaration Friday of a national emergency. The White House said before Trump's announcement that the border project, which is opposed by Democrats, would receive $3.6 billion that Congress originally provided for military construction projects and $2.5 billion from the Pentagon's 2019 drug interdiction program. I went through Congress. I made a deal. I got almost $1.4 billion when I wasn't supposed to get $1. Not $1. He's not going to get $1. Well, I got $1.4 billion, but I'm not happy with it. I also got billions and billions of dollars for other things, port of entries, lots of different things, the purchase of drug equipment, more than we were even requesting. In fact, the primary fight was on the wall. Everything else we have so much, as I said, I don't know what to do with it. We have so much money. But on the wall, they skimped. So I did — I was successful in that sense, um, but I want to do it faster. I could do the wall over a longer period of time. I didn't need to do this, but I'd rather do it much faster. And I don't have to do it for the election. I've already done a lot of wall for the election, 2020. And the only reason we're up here talking about this is because of the election, because they want to try and win an election which it looks like they're not going to be able to do. And this is one of the ways they think they can possibly win, is by obstruction and a lot of other nonsense. Uh, and I think that uh, I just want to get it done faster. That's all. Republican Mac Thornberry of Texas, the top Republican on the House Armed Services Committee, said before Trump's announcement that while he favors spending more on border security, he opposed diverting significant sums from the Pentagon budget. Heather Newt, picked by President Donald Trump to be the next U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, but never officially nominated, has withdrawn from consideration. Nowat's impending nomination has been considered a tough sell in the Senate, where she would have faced tough questions about her relative lack of foreign policy experience, according to congressional aides. A potential issue involving a nanny that she and her husband had employed may also have been a factor in her decision to withdraw, according to one aide. That issue, which was first reported by Bloomberg on Saturday, centered on a foreign nanny who was legally in the U.S. but did not have legal status to work, according to the aide, who was not authorized to discuss the matter publicly and spoke on condition of anonymity. Before coming to the State Department, Newart was, breaking, was a breaking news anchor on Trump's favorite television show, Fox and Friends. With a master's degree from Columbia University Graduate School of Journalism, she had moved to Fox from ABC News, where she was a general and Simon reporter. Well, that's all the updates for now. I'm Kamarudin Bujang. Salam Ibu Butiriku.